everyone welcome back to good morning tobago on tobago updates viewers we are switching gears this morning and we are turning our attention to the scrap iron dealers association because they are here in tobago and of course they are going to be hosting a very special event later on today and to tell us a little bit about that is the president of the Trans tobago scrap iron dealers association and that is none other than mr alan ferguson so special good morning and welcome to you mr ferguson good morning good morning to you and good morning to your viewers man is a wonderful feeling to be in Tobago this morning. It's a, such a, a kind of different view, a different <laughs> feeling, you know? Certainly, yes. Tobago is definitely the place to be. Right. And um, you guys are here to host a crime talk seminar this this afternoon here in Tobago. And of course, this has been something that's been happening throughout Trinidad over the last few weeks. Yeah, a few months, a few months, because we launched last year. Um, we launched it in Enterprise and we moved into Labre. Then we moved into Bacade. We moved into La Romaine. We moved into Rio Claro. Mia, um, we moved to, to Sandy Grandi. We moved to, to um, a lot of different areas into Trinidad. And now we, it's time to be in Tobago because we know that the crime is not in Trinidad alone, the crime is in Tobago. We know Tobago was not a place like this. So we need to come and, and, and share our view because we have a lot of young people with us sending the message also in a singing way and we have a lot of, we have Pastor Dutton with me, we have um, Rondell Field, the Fathers Association President, we have Sergeant Morris with me, we have we have got that is a guy that came from America with a story. He spent 40 years in America and he came to Trinidad with about 15 of them. And, and, and when he came to Trinidad, he's the only one remain because all of them, the rest of them die. So he come to, to give the message that crime is not the issue because when he came to Trinidad, no family didn't pick him up by the airport. So he had us to go in Port of Spain and lie down on a cardboard. To, to have a life but he didn't choose the life of crime now he's living a good life with his family he have children and then now he is a teacher in secondary school you know so you could understand the the message is to show the young people um that the life of crime is not the the way to go if you want something you have to work very hard for it so we we just want to send the message and we want to try to put it in all different ways for trinidad and tobago and we in tobago today and i'm telling today 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 i have a message for tobago because i know tobago was never so mm -hmm. tobago was a peaceful place we when 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 uh, tobago when you come to tobago let me tell you i came to tobago a time in 1990 and i remember i didn't have no wife at that time i was now caught in and you know why i went i went to charlotteville and they show me a place that is called lovers lane in charlotteville it's such a beautiful place and, and, and you, you know, you could have go there by yourself and, your, and, and the person who you want to marry and, and, and have a wonderful time. Now it's sometimes in Trinidad or Tobago, you can't even do these things again. So, so we need to get back to this way. We need to change our way. We, we, we went off course and we need to come back on track. And I have the, 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 the utmost strong feeling that the police or the politician or whoever it is can't do it by themselves. We need to come together. No, so, I mean, and I think that it's very interesting because, I mean, of all the people that are hosting these crime talks and have hosting these conversations with the public, the Scrap Iron Deeds Association chose to do that. You know, what's the reason why you took this bold step to engage with the public in such a way? Well, you see, I only come around with a lot of people know about me recently with the Scrap Iron because I'm the president, but for, for, for years who know me, I walk most to community and beg the use because I'm not in the scrap iron business alone. I have a grocery and I have a car business where I sell cars and I do. And I encourage the youth to show them because my mother died when I was 12 years. My father died a year after. I didn't choose the, the way of crime. I went all over the world representing Trinidad. I was a national champion in boxing. I was the, from the, 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 a, 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 a member of a, a big gym in Port of Spain, where your own person from Claude Noel was in that gym. I grew up as a little boy around them, and I ended up the manager of the gym, the owner of the gym, which Claude Noel was in. I also was the, I was the chairman of the whole Caribbean, so I used myself to show the use. My mother died, my father died when I was young, 12 years, but it didn't put me in a life of crime. 
I never get locked up from the police for not even stealing a mango, you know. I I and I grew up in communities like Enterprise. I grew up in 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 the Southland where we where, where crime and youths and people going and and doing a lot of things. But I choose was to to fill my life with things that when put me in trouble. And I, I, I am I am to say I'm one of the example that the youth could watch. I am a businessman and I stay in the community where the poor people is because I love to work with them. I love them. I, I, I am amongst them. So my life now is to, to, to make sure that the, the experience and the knowledge I have working in community, we're underprivileged. We can't sometimes can't even buy a, a, a bread when the day come. I understand their feelings. Mm -hmm. So my life is to, to, to work with them, to show them there's a way out of it. So you what understand? are some of those things that have come out of the crime talk so far that have taken place in Trinidad? No, well, you know, all we have to do is to Let me tell you something, God, we know that we cannot do it on our own. We need the help of God too, eh? Because, you see, doing these things, you know, you have to know, you have to believe in God. You just have to continue doing what you need to do. Because this station would have started up some years ago. But now we have a lot of viewers. But you all work hard to push the station. And if you want the crime to go down, we have to work hard. We can't come out today, tomorrow, or the other day and feel that the crime will go down. We have to continue pounding in the communities. Because the crime is not a small man alone, you know. It, this crime is something big. It has the big ones on them, the big, 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 big ones. And all of that we have to deal with. But how you, how you deal with it? Because you need to pull your support. You need to pull people. Get the community to understand that the plumber come from the community. The lawyers come from the community. The doctors, the nurses, the firemen, all the prison officers, the police, the army men come from the community. And if we come together to make the community better, it's the community who build up the country, you know. So we need to work with every single person. And that is what we're trying to put in the youth's head. We're trying to tell them if they want a car, they'll go and steal a car. Let me work hard to buy a car. Because I never steal to build my business, you know. I work hard mm -hmm. and I save up because the bank didn't want to help me because who I am, who I am and who I look, why how I look. And I didn't, I didn't study and say, let me turn to crime to able to build my business. I work hard. I wash down cars. I sell papers. I sell bottles. I do all kind of things. But I did not choose the life of crime. Because I understand from young that if you do good, God will help you. And if you, if you understand the, the philosophy of life, the understanding of life, life does work in such a way, good does follow you, you know. And when you do evil, you end up in jail. And when you end up in jail, all you have is the friends in jail to tell you, hey, how to get out of jail? Because now is that different. But when you do business and you do good, the only set of people follow you is good people. You understand what I'm saying? And what does happen out of this is that you create an empire. And what it is, you get good wife, you get good children, you get good family, you get good people around you. Mm -hmm. But when you want to stay in the evil way, evil just follow you. One set of people only telling you, let me go and knock down this one, let me go and rob this one, let me go in this one house. I don't have that around me. And when a youth come to me and tell me something, I just put them in the place and let them know that we need to do something better to able for people to see me. Mm -hmm. And that is why in the community where is the police and everybody would have said, look at this massive grocery you as a person will have put up. And they didn't come one, you know, because I couldn't build it in one. Peace, 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 and you end up a big place. But we have to have the head of a business kind of thing. And let me tell you something. Tobago. Tobago produced some of the most mine in Trinidad and Tobago. But the youth need to know that. So today I will going to explain all of that to them. Because I don't think they understand, you know. Tobago is a, is a, is a tourist part of, of Trinidad and Tobago. And if we continue the crime, you know where we going to end up? Or well, we have to stay in the house. But you know the problem with me? I can't stay in my house. I go catch cramp. I need to go out. I need to walk. I need to talk with the people. And how we could get that? If we don't come out, the people with me, 
I want to thank them for working with me. Look, we have Pastor Dutton coming here to talk to the people. Mm -hmm. We have Ron Delfield coming to talk. We have Sergeant Morris coming to talk to me. Look, we have some young people who sing in, and I hope that we could get the chance for them to come here to, in this interview, that they could t come to let the young people know in Tobago. We have a lot of different people we'll be going around Trinidad and Tobago, because this is the first one in Tobago. Eh? We go in. We so there's in. going to be more in Tobago. Oh God, we ain't can't do that. We must come back here. <laughs> nice people like yourself and all in Tobago. We must come back and spread the message too. And, some, and something that I've really noticed about this, um, the, 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 the production list and all the people that are involved, it's not politically affiliated at all. Not at all. Let me tell you something. When they keep the, the thing, they're bashing one another. We're not going to say... PNM didn't do this, UNC didn't do this. That we want everybody to work with me, but they have the space, they have the way to help. Mm -hmm. We saying is that because we don't want to make it no political thing and nobody to feel so. Because I am not a politician, I don't have nothing in my head saying vote for me and you go set you free. I so work with me. We go try to get rid of the crime by helping the youth to get something to do. And we was nice when we hear the prime minister say he going to start the community that on the press and have people on the privilege. We say we say he gonna put in a hundred million. We proud that we welcome that because. Why is it too late when we know that it come late? We still feel that it could help out a little hole and try to dump in something and encourage them. Are we going to encourage them to spend more money? We're going to encourage them to do the right thing with the money. Because we don't want when the money come, the money end up going to the people, the million dollar people who have who have plenty of money because you know we go like to buy the barco, we go buy this, we go give them the contract, we go do all kind of things. We don't want that. We want that the, the money must go to the community, but in not this game thing, this game thing. It must be in a real organized way that we go first and talk first and put plans in place to put better community together. People who want to be doctors must be doctors. People who want to be lawyers must be lawyers. People who want to be engineers. People who want to be media people must be in the community, must be afraid to be these things. The community have the space for everything to happen, you know. But you know what happened? We short a mind. We short a mind. Some of we don't understand it. And I really believe we need to work together. We need to we need to, you see how we getting this interview here for other people to hear? All of this contribute, will contribute for it. Mm -hmm. Because well, I am talking not because I am a politician, I want you to vote for me, you know. I am talking because it's coming from my heart. I am talking because I'm normal. I am talking because this is the time for me to start to make change. This is a new year. How we can't keep on the same clothes all the time because we go get the same smell. We need to change the clothes and change the perfume for to able to get the beautiful smell and the, the, the feelings of Trinidad and Tobago. And how we could get that? To work to get rid of this crime, this brutal, evil thing that's going around Trinidad and Tobago. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick pause. Um, we're going to continue with Mr. Ferguson as we discuss what's to happen this afternoon at 3.30 on the Esplanade as the Scrapper and Dealers Association hosts some crime talks in Tobago. So don't go anywhere. Oh, welcome back to Good Morning Tobago on Tobago Updates. Viewers, we are continuing our conversation this morning with the Scrap Iron Dealers Association of Trinidad and Tobago because they are in Tobago right now. And this afternoon at 3.30 on the Esplanade, they are going to be hosting uh, the, this uh, at crime talk session with the public, you the public. Um, and they've been hosting this throughout Trinidad over the past few months as they try to see what they can do to help with easing and mitigating some of the situations that are happening within our society today and also joining us on set um, with mr alan ferguson of course who is the president we have mr king david and he is one of the performers this morning um this afternoon sorry all right so special good morning and welcome to you how are you doing thank you i'm okay, okay. So tell me about just being a part of the Scrap Iron Dealers Association's crime talks and, you know, just going through the different communities and engaging with especially the young people and trying to get them to perhaps consider a different life. Yeah, it's an honor to do this work with the Scrap Iron Dealers Association. I mean, they call us because they realize that potentially we have the ability to connect with the youths through our music. So. And our music is designed to naturally 
deal with matters of crime and, and, and these kind of topics. So, so do you feel, you know, it's an honor to me to really work with them to do this message, to, to bring it to the people at a time where they really need to get something to bring them out because no matter how much crime, bloodshed, murders going on in the country, people still seem to be sleeping and still watching to their left and their right before they make the move forward, before they open their voice, before they demand anything from our leaders, they watching each other. And I believe that the music could be the thing that unites us and, and triggers that catalyst where people will say, all right, I'm ready to come out now because I see King David, I like the song Life, I like the message. You like that message too? Well, all right, so you're coming out in the meeting. I know the, the music could spark, could start that conversation. And certainly in a, at a time where there's a lot of focus on the type of music that we have here in Trent and Tobago and the, the, the complaint that we hear quite often is that so much of the music, for instance the Trinidad and so on, influences some of our young people into a life of crime. Um, tell me about your music and about just what you, how y'all, you're using your lyrics and so on to, to change, to change things within in Trent and Tobago. Well, I've always been on that side of the music, the conscious, the positive reggae. And most, the biggest reason why I chose that kind of music is because the people gravitated towards those songs. Because artists, we, we, we all sing different kinds, different genres, different concepts, different ideas. And what you do, you grab onto the ones that are the people that resonate with the people. And so they always liked me for that conscious reggae, and so it was easy for me to stay on that, that part. But the music is very influential in the culture of our country. And I'm not saying stop the Trinidad or stop any, any kind of genre. It's just we need a balance. And the voice of the people who, who are being affected by the crime, they, they need to be heard also. And in terms of the Trinidad music, it's, it's, it's like a one-sided affair. It's a, it's, they are one track mind when it comes to that kind of music and we need the Trini Bad artists to, to, to dabble in different. And you could sing about beautiful women, you could sing about enjoying yourself in the party. Not all of the songs should be about killing and crying and, and you know, war. And that's what we need to, to, to impose in their minds. And Mr. Ferguson, can you tell me a bit about, you know, just being able to have somebody like King David on with you and to supporting your cause? Well, it's a pleasure, you know, we welcome it, you know, you know, we, 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 when we start putting this whole program together, we think about having people like them and we push, push, push. And it was nice to, to Elbon to, to put us on to all of them because we had Elbon working with us and he put on us to all of them. So we thank him and we thank all of them who taking part. In it. We sorry that everybody couldn't come here because we have a whole heap of them put this evening, you know. And now all of them have strong message. We have a, a, a senior guy, you know, everybody in Trinidad and Tobago will know him, Mr. King. He's the one who's saying, yeah. borderline, yeah. you know, that we have all of them this evening. It's a, it's a wonderful pack program. And the whole thing about it is about trying to get the youth to stay away from crime. And it's free. And we're going to get more into that because we have, we're have we going to be introducing the viewers to another one of the performances that's going to be on this afternoon, just after this. So viewers, just a quick break. We'll be back. Oh, welcome back to Good Morning Tobago on Tobago Updates and viewers. Yes, we are continuing our conversations with Scrap Iron Deals Association as they get ready to host their crime talk session at the Scarborough Esplanade at 3.30 this afternoon. So that's something that you know what they're not going to want to miss. And one of the people that you're going to be seeing there performing is the Juba, um, Mr. Anthony Charles. Good morning and welcome to you, first of all. Yeah, morning um, and welcome to Tobago and thanks for having me here. Um, this song, I want to say this before really start to sing. I had no connection with Scrap Iron Dealers Association before writing this song. It's just hearing the guys them that come in to salvage the mat material, hearing the singing Scrap Iron, and I des decided to write and put some solutions to the problem instead of bashing mm -hmm. them. So the song goes like this. The Scrap Iron Dealers Association Facing real problem They all they're complaining and they're complaining Nobody taking on them They say they're doing clean up operation 
plus sanitation, but they're not getting enough reliance to maintain their occupation. Plus they're taking young men away off the street who used to sit on waste in the time. So they create some little employment, keep them away from a life of crime. So when I see them trucks and them passing, if they are far from my home, I don't tell them truckers already. All the juba man, iron crew, scrap iron, old battery buying. On top of the truck, if you hear them ball, scrap iron, old battery buying. Old fridge to galvanize and all. Scrap iron, old battery buying. Second hand underwear and old bra, scrap iron, old battery buying. Old petty coat and chilling choir, scrap iron, old battery buying. You could hear them trucks from afar, scrap iron, old battery buying. Old petty coat and marijuana. The Scrap Iron Dealers Association wants a meeting with the government. But every time they take a step forward, it causing big argument. So calling on them trade union leaders. All you please take a stand. Let the public vote with the president to get more information. Calling all them Scrap Iron fellas. And give them a license. And keep one for the president, Mr. Alan Ferguson. Put them fellas in uniform so you could make them out from far so you could tell if they're buying scrap iron or they're thiefing copper wire. Scrap iron, old battery buying. On top of the truck if you hear them ball. Scrap iron, old battery buying. Old fridge to galvanize and all. Scrap iron, old battery buying. Second hand on the way and old bar. Scrap iron, old battery buying. Old petty coat and chilling wire. Scrap iron, old battery buying. You could hear them trucks from afar, crap iron, old battery buying, old petty coat and marijuana. And this evening at the Explanade, you'll be hearing it with music. Thank you very much. <laughs> Certainly. And uh, Mr. Ferguson, you know, um, I guess we're, we're out of time, almost out of time right now. But, you know, just give us a last word about this evening and why is it so important that Tobagonians show up? Because, you know, we, we, work in, we want to work with them to be able to move this crime from Tobago. Because we know Tobago is a beautiful place where tourists come and we can't afford to lose these tourists and lose this fairness and loveliness in Tobago. So we are asking them, come out. We're ready to work with you all, Tobago. And this evening is the starting of the change of what to take place in Tobago. And you know and I know, without you, we cannot do it. Thank you. All right. I want to thank you so much, Mr. Ferguson, for being on. And of course, like I said, it's at 3 o'clock. Uh, 3.30 um, this 3 evening. 3.30 this afternoon um, at the, the Esplanade. So um, come out and support and let your voices be heard and hear a very long list of uh, speakers, a lot of good people that will be on to share um, as we try to, you know, do what we can to, 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 to change the trajectory of our society right now. All right, thank you so much. And viewers, uh, please don't go anywhere. We're done with Mr. Ferguson and, and the Scrap Iron Dealers, but we're not done with GMT. So we've got a lot more coming up for you after the break, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>